Welcome back to Family Gaming TV and we're here to tell you more about the upcoming figures and power discs for Disney Infinity. Having covered those discs, we now want to look at the figures and these are sort of wave two or wave three, although in some ways Disney Infinity doesn't really conform to that sense of waves that we were seeing with Skylanders. So there's a much more steady stream of figures coming out into stores and we're seeing them slowly sort of drip, drip by drip arriving at retail. So we've already had the, the new... Um, the new playset for Toy Story, and here's, here's Woody for that. We've also already had um, Jack Skellington as well. And so those, those are two figures that are already out. And then we're gonna have see some more coming into stores um, towards the end of the month. And um, we've got Wreck-It Ralph, um, Vanellope, and then Anna, Rapunzel, and Elsa. Obviously the bottom two from the film, um, Disney film Frozen. So um, we're seeing those slowly come out and then there's um, Mickey from Fantasia still to come as well and I quite like the way that we're seeing this sort of steady stream of figures rather than having to wait and wait and wait and then finally one hits the store so I'd be interested to hear you know which figures are you, are you buying are you focusing on a particular particular franchise a particular brand and buying all those or are you jumping about um, to have different figures from different films and different franchises now the interesting thing about some of these new figures um, all of these except uh, except Woody um, so Wreck-It Ralph, Vanellope and Frozen and Tangled figures is that they don't have their own adventure but what they do have is content in the toy box so by bringing them in, into the game you have little sort of almost mini adventures um, in that toy box arena and for us as a family this is where we're starting to get much more sort of into making our own fun in the toy box having enjoyed all those play sets worked through them and largely coming towards the end of some of those um, we're finding that experience has incentivized us to find out what the toy box is and we're going to be looking at that in some detail in some upcoming episodes and i'll be putting together a sort of a how to um, create your own adventures and own fun in that toy box but for now what we're going to do is get these figures open i'm quite excited particularly wreck it ralph i think he's just a really nice maybe a competitor for sully as my favorite figure Get them, get them open, we'll have them in front of the camera and then we'll pop them on the um, Infinity Base and look and see what they're like in the game. So here we are at Rapunzel from Tangled, as you can see a new base there. Um, obviously that represents that new brand, sort of sunflower on um, like a courtyard stone. Um, you can see, uh, obviously they caught all the features there. This character, really nice, long, obviously long hair. Now guess what? We get to go have even more adventures. Are you ready? So I think she's, she'll be an, a nice addition and I know my daughter for one will be really keen and excited to see more female characters so sticking with that female theme Elsa from the film Frozen now I've not seen Frozen so you may well have an advantage over me in terms of understanding the sort of things to spot on this figure um, I'm looking forward to seeing what she's like in the toy box and we'll be um, running through that as well. Hello there. Wanna come join me for some more fun? Yeah, I like, again, I think there's a lot of detail. Uh, there's a certainly a, a large number of paint passes. This is a character I think which would be a nice nice addition. And again, my daughter in particular, I think, will be um, pleased to see more females. Sticking on that theme of females, we have Anna, again, from the film Frozen. Now, she's sort of looking up, up to the sky, and has this sort of... Um, sort of Swiss goat herder look almost um, from the mountains. Come on, I say we head out for another adventure. Of 
surprises. I like I like her. She's quite an unusual character. She's got a rope on her shoulder. You can see that that's been moulded as a separate separate item. I think she's going to be a lot of fun to play with. And again, you can see the base, um, which represents the the Frozen um, film. I wonder if there'll be any more characters coming in from Frozen. Sticking with females, and again, these new figures, we've got Vanellope from Wreck-It Ralph um, on a cupcake, a cupcake base for Wreck-It Ralph. And you'll see that's the same for the other figures there. Um, and she's got those sort of cupcake sprinkles in her hair. Hello, chum. Well, you ready to play or what? Guess we showed you. A nice, uh, real cute little figure, real compact. It's got a nice sort of heft, heft to her. You feel like you want to, you want to play and do some imagin imaginative play um, with her. And my kids are enjoying that with Disney Infinity. Then finally, finally of this new wave figures, <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph. And this must be one of the biggest, heftiest figures I've seen in either Skylanders. And he's really heavy, or Disney Infinity. There's a real weight to him. I think maybe he's even heavier than some of the Cars figures, and they were pretty heavy in their own right. I'm gonna wreck it! Of course, he's got that um, cupcake base that represents that Wreck-It Ralph brand. Um, nice lumberjack shirt on. Ba really massive. Look at the size of his fists. Massive fists. Um, so I can't wait to see how he does in the toy box. I think him and Sully having a fight would be great fun. Um, and just rounding off, of course, we've got Jack Skellington. A figure that you may well already have because that's out in the shops now. It's so good to see you. What do you say to some more mischief? Shall we give it a try? Aha! So sorry! Certainly. Certainly unusual, and again, this is a, a figure to, for the um, toy box. And good old Woody, of course. My kids will be excited to get him and play. And you can see here how this is quite stylized. His eyes are a bit bigger, and his hands are a bit bigger, and he's more chiselled than the Woody you maybe would see um, just as a normal toy. And that's so that he fits in with his other characters, and so this Disney Infinity collectability, the collectible set of toy figures, um, is maintained. Well, hello, partner. How about the two of us get started on a new adventure? So there you go. That's our Disney Infinity new figure roundup. Do subscribe to the channel. We'll be able to let you know when we have more news on Disney Infinity or more news on other video games. Also, drop a like. But really, give us a comment. We want to hear how you're playing Disney Infinity, what you're doing in the toy box, what's your favourite play set, or perhaps one of these characters is going to be the one that you're going to be saving up for and buying. My vote would be for Wreck-It Ralph. I just love his massive, massive hands, both in the toy box, uh, mucking about and playing in the game, but also this real figure. I can't wait to play. Um, play with him with, with my kids so but let us know how are you, how are you doing how are you playing it what's your favorites that's what we've got time for today on family gamer tv but we'll be back with more tomorrow